ChatGPT just launched a web browser and it can literally browse the web for you. This is a big move for OpenAI. So let's have a look and see what it does. It's called Atlas and it works like a normal browser, tabs, bookmarks, that kind of thing. But it's got ChatGPT baked in and it does do some very cool stuff. Firstly, the sidebar here, it can actually see the page that you're on and help you with that in context, whether it's explaining something, summarizing it, writing from it. When you open a new tab, instead of typing a URL or search, you can just ask ChatGPT a question about anything, but also about your tabs or your browsing history. It also gives you inline writing help. So wherever there's a text box on the page, emails, forms, social media, whatever, ChatGPT can write, edit, rewrite what you're typing right there on the page. Now, the two coolest things I think are firstly browser memory. Atlas remembers what you've been doing online and you can literally say, show me the genes I was looking at the weekend, and it will know where to go. That memory also syncs with your ChatGPT memory, so your browsing makes ChatGPT smarter, and your ChatGPT chats make the browser more personalized. Some people will think that's a bit of an invasion of privacy, a bit creepy. I personally think that is really, really useful. The second is agent mode. If you haven't tried it in ChatGPT yet, it's basically a virtual little computer that can go off and do real work for you but now inside atlas it can actually do all those things there on the web and you can see it working it's basically a self-driving browser it's very cool atlas is free to download for everyone it is only for mac at the moment windows and mobile are coming soon and if you want to use agent mode you'll need a paid plus or pro plan